Okay, so we are filming Christmas stuff, which makes me so excited and feeling very festive. Um, okay, so here's some challenges when filming Christmas content that you might not think you would come across. Keys, because here's the thing. I don't know about you, but my family sits down and sings every single Christmas. You're not allowed presents until you've done the singing. So when we're doing the singing, my grandpa always starts the songs and he starts them in a great key for a male voice, but we're all singing like in our high sopranos just to get through Silent Night. So I find that <laughs> it's a little awkward. So I'm trying to find keys that are very singable and also easy to play in. So we'll see how this goes. Oh no. La 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 la. Oh dear. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> so coming up, we are going to be having a little cozy Christmas party at my house. I wanted to encourage all of you to get out there and play some Christmas music for your friends and family. And that can be a little bit nerve wracking and intimidating. So that's why we're doing these song tutorials. Number one, you can print them, you can download them, and you can have them to keep to practice with and bring out for your own Christmas party. Um, and I just wanted to show you how you can have your own little house party gathering. People are usually really excited to, first of all, get together over the holidays and secondly to just participate in something musical so I've always felt very nervous when people are like oh let's you know sing or play something but you have to remember people love music so if you can help to contribute to that by learning how to play some Christmas songs and inviting some friends over and having a little sing-along um, I don't know just makes the Christmas season a little more magical so I'm gonna be showing you my own little Christmas party Welcome to my home. I am about to host a little mini Christmas house concert and the whole idea here is to show you guys how simple and easy this can be and what a great excuse it is to practice your Christmas songs, get into the Christmas spirit a little bit and have some fun. So I've got my living room set up with my keyboard. I'll show you. We've got a Christmas tree obviously and we have the keyboard set up in front of the fireplace. So the plan is to just throw some family members and friends onto the couches and give them some treats and then we're gonna sing them some songs and then they're gonna leave. So it's just a great little way to, like I said earlier, just be festive. It's okay, Maya, come here. This is my dog, Maya, come here, come. She's very strange, but we love her. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna go get the treats ready. Okay, so a checklist for your at-home Christmas house concert. You need a Christmas song to play on the piano. <laughs> so I'm going to be loading mine up on the iPad, which I have cleverly stashed here, hidden away from the children so it didn't get lost. So I'm going to have, I could try, I just picked two songs um, because it doesn't need to be long. And then Caitlin here is singing her singing. Are you singing along? No. No. <laughs> She's going to be playing. She's been working super hard, practicing super hard. This is her very first public performance. Yeah. What are you, you going to be performing for us? I'm going to be performing Silent Night. And I'm gonna sing along for her so she doesn't have to be scared and it'll be super fun. So this is just to go to show you that you don't have to have been playing piano for a year to be able to do this. Um, so piano, Christmas songs, special guest, Christmas tree, speaking of guests, here we go. Hello and welcome to our Christmas house concert. Thank you for joining. Um, now that everybody's in the room, it's feeling a little bit intimidating. Um, but this is supposed to be an honest portrayal. <laughs> it's like to have your own house concert. So it's completely fine. How are you feeling? Good. Okay, so there's kids too. So when you have your house concert, be prepared if you invite young people that there will be auditory distractions, which are completely acceptable and fine. This is good. This is real life practice. Real life. Okay, so Kaylin's been working really, really hard at Silent Night. So if we're just gonna do it. We're just gonna do it. Yeah. Okay, so last minute pointers. First of all, you're going to be nervous. Even if you invite the people that you feel the most safe and comfortable around, you're still gonna have nerves. Little tidbit here is I actually get the most nervous playing in front of my family. I don't know why. Um, strangers, no problem. But people that really know me, I don't know. It's a little, it's a little bit stressful for me. So um, just be prepared to feel nervous. Don't try to not feel nervous because that's not gonna help the situation at all. Remember to breathe. <sighs> And remember to have a sense of humor. So if you make a mistake, just like laugh it off. And the great thing about Christmas songs is everybody knows them. So if you really, really mess up, they'll just start singing and everything will be fine. 
Anything else? No, I think you covered everything. Sweet. All right. Okay, guess what? Everybody here knows. Okay, my favorite song to make people sing in a group is Angels We Have Heard on High because it's really funny when everybody has to sing Glow. <laughs> but we won't do that. We're going to do Deck the Halls because I am not mean. Okay, get your singing voices ready, guys. Deck the Halls with boughs of holly. Fa la 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 la. Tis the season to. Like, it was kind of intense. Yeah. There's a lot going on. It was. But I really enjoyed it. Me too. It was fun for me. Were you scared? Yeah. Were you nervous? <laughs> Are you glad you did it? Yeah, definitely. Did, did it motivate you to practice? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How do you feel about your performance? Um, you know, about a six and a half. <laughs> That's very good for a first performance. I think you can sleep easy tonight. Yeah. And now it's over, so you're probably feeling relieved. <sighs> so now, though, you can, like, I don't know, go play for your people, your family, your friends. Yeah. We still have leftover treats and we had a great time. So I highly recommend that you find an excuse or a reason to have some of your friends and family over, play them some songs, enjoy the Christmas, Christmasiness of it all. And uh, comment below to let me know if you, if you do. <laughs>